Hey guys, Tawazman here. Um, looks like we're gonna be continuing Pokemon Red version. Yay! So to recap, we defeated Brock in Pewter City Gym. Before we go, I actually want to sell the TM to buy because, as I explained last episode, buy is garbage. It's free. 1,000. I would also stock up on a, a bunch of potions here. Because I'm a, you're gonna go through a big dungeon. Wait, did I just buy 15 Pokeballs? Shit. Good enough. How many potions do I have? Wait, no. Fuck, I used them all. Wait, nope. I have enough for 11. Alrighty then. Um, I don't need an escape rope. 15 potions should be good enough. Um, if you haven't defeated Brock's gym, there's this guy right here who will be like, Oh, hey, you haven't defeated Brock's gym. Come with me. And he leads you to the pewter gym. And so here we are on Route 3. Um, there's a fuck ton of trainers here. Right there is one of them. I just want to see which Pokemon up its unicorn. You looked at me, didn't you? No, I fucking talked to you. Ah, uh, the joys of winning. Pidgey, I have Nidor in it, right? Yeah. Oh boy. So, there's two new Pokemon here, Sanju, which, as explained in my last video, doesn't really have much to talk about. It's got good stats and decent people, but it's just kind of outclassed a bit later on by Go um, Geodude and Rhyhorn, which eventually evolved into Rhyhorn and Gold. Did I, just, did I say Sandflash? No, I mean Sandflash. Um... Only in yellow you can get it this way. And you can't catch it in red, period. As for what red and blue gets here, you get Jigglypuff. And Jigglypuff... It's got a really, 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 really good move pool. Its stats outside of its HP are just... Very crap. Um, if you want something that could like deal a lot of damage, well, that can like deal a good amount of damage while still having quite a, while have while having better stats, Clefable is, and then in the next route. Hey, I met you in Reinforced. No, you didn't. Why would someone travel from Viridian to here? Like, I would have to see you going through the fucking computer city. So no, you didn't go through. So no, you didn't have to Liar. On Yay, level 13. Sure, I'll switch. Let's try our new... Actually, no, don't try your new Vine Whip because. Wait. Oh my god, it only has 10 PV. And I keep going because. We're basically. Never mind. Let's switch back because that was pointless. One of them. Yeah. And here we are. I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Don't like them up. 
much as Youngster Joey, mainly because Youngster Joey's the boss. I mean, like, he, he literally carries a fucking... He has a Radita and only a Radita. He's that beast. And since Radita is... Ekans! Um, you can catch this after the dungeon we're about to go through. Well, not about, but after all these fucking trainers. Oh boy, rap. I was gonna explain this to you when I explained Ekans, but I guess now is as good as time as any. So, in Generation 1, the mechanics of rap work very, very differently. Basically, if the move hits, you cannot do anything except heal. And switch out. You cannot move. You cannot like, do a move. It just says any whatever is attack continues. And by the way, all multi-hit moves, if it criticals on the first, it criticals for every single one. So basically, Wrath is can be very, very deadly, as seen here, because it got a critical hit the first time, and now I have to heal. Look at that. Enemy. This might be. Oh, I get to attack again. Never mind. How many potions does this buy? Oh my god. No. Yay! Level 14. Alright. Poison Sting! Alright, um, this is the second. So, for those of you who don't know, and I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you probably already know, but. If you. If you're using attack and attack of the, the same type as your Pokemon, um, let's just say, uh, I'm just gonna give an example, um, a Charizard using Flamethrower, that move will have 1.5 times the base power. For example, let's just take um, a Thunderbolt, a 95 power move, now let's just say an electric type Pokemon uses it, um, Pikachu, because I already explained that. Instead of it having 95 base power, it'll have around, it'll have 137.5 base power. And that affected by, um, uh, I don't know, I'll figure out what I'm Alright, yeah, I did it. Are you a trainer? Let's fight. Bug catcher. This will take a while. So I'm supposed to be through this. Wait. Oh crap, I I remember. I have my uh, I have the battle setting on shift. I usually have it on set when I go through um Pokemon playthroughs. Which is basically if a trainer sends out a new Pokemon, you will not you will not be notified of what it is. And you cannot switch out before. You have to switch out um, when it happens. Also, Unicorn getting up in there in the level. Just trying to give him up all the previous love. Oh my god, I fit him all. Okay, no. If I had new Pokemon, I would have won. That fight was piss easy. Go, Bulbapedia. You're not wearing shorts. Why do I? And the day of recording this, it's August 5th, and it's like fucking 10:45 p.m. Actually, no, it's 10:42. So I am wearing shorts, but it's kind of getting to the end of uh, the season. So, I'm gonna, so I won't be able to upload as often. Let's go get back. Oh, dude, this is gonna take. A Oh, whoa, I did it! What the fuck? Okay, thank god. Thank you. Okay. That happened. 
Time to heal. I guess now is a good time to show off our Vine Whip. I believe Vine Whip is a... Oh, I think it's like a 35 base power move with no additional effect. I think it has like 95 accuracy or something. Well, 94.6 because the accuracy check in this game is a monster. Yay, level 15. I just need to adjust my headphones. Be nice. Fuck you. You can fight my new Pokemon. Let me guess. Spiro. Back to the Pidgey. Never mind, it's gonna be fucking. Caterpie. Frankly, I am not- I am not wasting time on one. I guess Unicorn can get he has the better attack. So there's an experience. Never mind. Is this the last trainer? Might as well heal again. I actually want to check which Pokemon I should have out of them. Alright, so what will Peter should be out of Eek, did you touch me? No. 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 Oh, okay, Jigglypuff. That sprite, though. I do not have the I do not- I am not spending, um, like, two minutes on this. Sleep! Sleep in this game, in Generation 1, is... Huge bitch. Because, basically, you can be asleep from anywhere from one to seven turns. What the fuck are you doing that one? You can be any- you can be asleep anywhere from one to seven turns, and it takes a full turn to wake up. In other words, if you have something with hypnosis love, or lovely kiss, yeah, be prepared to get destroyed, because you will not wake up for a good few turns. Phew, I better take a rest. Um, Tunnel Cerulean takes a lot out of you. This is the dungeon I was talking about. With three mountain moon. Yeah, it's Mount Moon. Mount Moon is it has Moonstone, which can be evolved. Which can evolve him. When he evolves! Of course. Let's go heal up. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. We can heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. Hell yeah. We'll need your Pokemon. Um, this guy right here. Team Rocket Text Rule. Never mind, it's not that guy. Is it this guy? Hello there, I've got a deal just for you. I'll let you have a swell match card for just $500. What do you say? Fuck you. Um, Magikarp is one of the worst Pokemon in the game. It only knows Splash up until level 15, in which it gets tackled. Um, 
Yeah, but then it evolves into Gyarados at a fairly early level. This is Mount Moon. I... We're gonna tackle this next episode because I do not want 45 minutes of footage to edit and still w want it out Monday. Um, so... Next time on Pokemon Red, we're gonna be taking on Mount Moon and Route 4. See you guys then.